Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be going over the November 2021 Glam Bag X. So I don't think I've done one of these in a while. Um, I did, I have gotten this, I did get it three months ago. I haven't stopped my subscription. However, I don't think I made a video of it in August, I can't remember, but um, I do have, I have been making shorts of when I'm doing my selections. I will post the little card right here of when I made the selection for this Glam Bag X. And if you are un you're unfamiliar with Ipsy or Ipsy Glam Bag X, um, so Ipsy is a subscription service. They have three tiers. They have Glam Bag, Glam Bag Plus, and then Glam Bag X. Glam Bag X is a quarterly subscription, but it's only um, a replacement so you have to either be a subscriber to a glam bag or a glam bag plus to be able to upgrade for that month to the glam bag x the glam bag run, um, x runs 55 dollars plus tax so keep that in mind i personally was not going to get i i haven't been happy i was really happy the first one second one was okay and then i haven't really been happy sense. So I was not going to upgrade for November until I found out that the curator was Huda Beauty. And then there was a bunch of spoilers for the Wishful Enzyme, the Ka Ali perfume. There was a bunch of spoilers. So I was really excited. I, um, I have a few of uh, Huda products, Huda Beauty products, but not a ton. So I felt, okay, I'm probably not gonna get duplicates. I really, I've tried the Wishful Enzyme Scrub, which I absolutely love. So I was really excited to possibly get that in the bag. Um, really wanted to try the perfume, was anxious to maybe get that in the box. And there was a couple other things. I think there was a scalp serum and I'll go over that in a minute. Well, let's just say, I didn't get any of that. So let's get into what I actually got in my Glam Bag X. So with Glam Bag X, they're all full size products. Um, five of the items are chosen for you and then there's three items that you get to choose. So the regular Glam Bag Plus is five items and then the regular Glam Bag um, is five items as well, but they're sample sizes. So the difference with the Glam Bag X is, um, and the Glam Bag Plus is <laughs> there's eight products, they're full size and they just tend to have a higher value. So the first item that was chosen for me by Ipsy was the PMD Clean Smart Facial Cleansing Device. And it's this, I think it's the, the color Warmth. Um, I have this. <laughs> and first of all, everybody got this. So this wasn't something that some people got, some people didn't. I'm pretty sure everybody got it. The thing was is that everybody, most people who have a subscription service um, have gotten this in some sort. I've gotten this, I think, two or three times. Um, I've given them as gifts because, I, you know, I have two already that I use. I think I gave one as a gift and now I have another one. So it's a great product. I really enjoy using it, except it's in like a lot of subscription boxes. So the fact that it was not only in the subscription box, but it was in the Glam Bag X was a little bit disappointing. And um, seeing online from other people, they were disappointed as well because a lot of people already have this. It's been in the old, it was in Cause Box at one point. It's been in FabFitFun. So again, um, great product, really like it, um, but I already have it. So the next item that was chosen for me is this uh, item from Gold Fadden MD. It is the Solution Needleless Line Smoothing Concentrate. Um, it is Dr. Gold Fadden's Smoothing Serum is the ultimate non-invasive solution to the, reduce the appearance of fine lines. Um, so you're supposed to apply one to two drops on clean skin to target areas uh, of a concern, forehead, crow's feet, and mouth area, and then you follow up with a moisturizer. Its ingredients are seaweed extract, distilled water, hyaluronic acid, and then some other things I can't pronounce. Um, so not 
disappointed. It's just that I already have a skin um, skincare routine and I already use things with hyaluronic acid. So I don't know, I'd have to replace what I already use with this. I might do that, but because you can't just use, you know, too much hyaluronic acid. There is, there is too, you can use too much. So um, again, I really was looking forward to possibly getting some of the Wishful brand. There was a couple things and I'll go over what was um, what was in the spoilers at the end and what I think about the box as a whole, but um, was kind of disappointed that I got this as one of the skincare items and not one of the Wishful, which is Huda Beauty's brand instead. So again, I think it's a great product, but was somewhat disappointed. The third item that was chosen for me is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Sugar Cookie. So Sugar Cookie is the translucent shade. It's the lightest shade, but it runs, it's supposed to be from people that are light to tan because it's a translucent shade. I have two of these, um, of the Loose Bake, loose, the Easy Bake Powder Loose Powder, but I don't have the shade Sugar Cookie. So I love the powder. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm wearing the shade Cupcake today. I have it in Cupcake and Pound Cake. And again, I don't have the shade Sugar Cookie. I haven't opened this one yet. I actually love this powder. So I was disappointed that I got another one, especially since I already have two. However, I was a little relieved that I didn't have this, I didn't receive the same shade. So that was kind of helpful that I didn't receive the same shade. Um, it's a great, great powder. It does have a fragrance. So if you don't like fragrance, that could be an issue. However, I did hear that, that they came out with some that don't have a fragrance right now. So it's fragrance free, but it's a great, um, you can wear this under your eyes again. So again, I was not, not completely disappointed it's just it was one of the few Huda Beauty items that I have and I got a duplicate so the fourth item chosen for me by Ipsy is the Huda Beauty under overachiever concealer in the shade meringue and again this is one of the few items that I already have of Huda Beauty so I do have the foundation the matte foundation um, the newer version and I do have one of the concealers. Now, the good thing, again, is I did receive a different shade. The shade I have is more cool toned, a little bit more pink. This one is a neutral. So they're very similar, but I can definitely use them for different purposes. So that was a good thing. And another thing is that this is a fantastic concealer. So I love this concealer. It's really great. Um, again, I don't have that many products of Huda Beauty, but I seem to get duplicates of everything that I already have. Um, I will say with this concealer, you will see that it has um, this like metal applicator, which I really, really love. You can see that I did use this today. Um, this is again, a neutral uh, shade, meringue. This is what I'm wearing. It's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. So if you are, you know, I'm 45, I have lines and wrinkles under my eyes. So this um, will cover them but doesn't really crease, doesn't really um, uh, emphasize the lines as much as others. So I really do really like this concealer. So I wasn't, again, I wasn't completely disappointed because I do like it. However, my concealer is fairly new and you don't need a lot of this product. So again, it was just, it was somewhat of a letdown that I'm getting another duplicate of a product I already have. Now the fifth and final item chosen for me by Ipsy is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in the shade Nearly Apricot. And I'm happy to say I don't own this. So this was, I was really happy to see this. Um, Rare Beauty, I'm a huge fan of Rare Beauty. I'm not a fan of their complexion products of the foundation and the concealer. Didn't work for me. However, I'm obsessed with the liquid blush and I hadn't tried any of the lip products. I do love the mascara. I'm actually wearing that today. So um, this is, a, it is a lip balm. So it is a very light, just kind of a hint of color. I love the applicator. The applicator is very petite. Um, I am wearing a lipstick and I just placed this on top. So it does give a little bit of a gloss, but not too much. So I think it's great to wear over a lipstick, especially, you know, if you're wearing like a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick and you want a little bit of moisture, this is 
is great. So I actually love the packaging as well. So this is the Rare Beauty um, uh, Nearly Apricot. So again, this was, a, this was something I was pleased to see because it was just not a duplicate and it was something I probably would not have bought on my own, but I am was excited to try it and I really like it. So now we're moving on to the last three items, which were I was given choices and I got to pick what I wanted. So really quick, uh, I'm gonna go through just what my choices were. There was uh, some brushes, a brush duo from Complex Culture, a Huda Beauty um, Haze Khaki Haze Palette, Aceology Firming Treatment Mask, Iconic London Sheer Blush. This works in Transmit No Traces. I think it's... Um, like pad, like facial pads, and then Cover FX Gripping Primer. I actually have that primer, it's fantastic, but I didn't need another one. I was really torn between the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette and the Iconic London Sheer Blush, but I have a lot of liquid blushes right now, and even though I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, this was a uh, curated, um, box from Huda Beauty. So I went ahead and got the Khaki Haze. Now I've had one of these obsession palettes before and I wasn't really thrilled with it. So I ended up decluttering it. I think I had like two or three. Um, so I, this, I was really happy. I wasn't really thrilled with it when I selected it. It was kind of like I was torn and I ended up just going for this because I figured I would get more use out of this. And I this is beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I really, really love it. The quality is fantastic. I love the colors. It's great for fall. So this was a pleasant surprise. When I picked it out, um, when I did my, my box and I did, you know, I did my selection, I wasn't really thrilled with this one, but now that I've received it and now that I've used it, I actually really, really love it. So, you know, I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so for my second choice, uh, my choices were Freck Beauty, a moisture, a vitamin C moisturizer, First Aid Beauty Facial Resident Radiance Pads, Cella Essential Balm, Eclac Skin London, a purifying black peel off mask, uh, a blush and highlight trio from Ofer Cosmetics, and an Il Maquillage lipstick. And I chose the First Aid Beauty Radiance Pads. Now, again, I already have two of these because Radi uh, First Aid Beauty sent me some PR and I got this size, which is 60, and then I got the smaller size of 28 pads. However, since I've got it, I have been using this every morning. I'm actually loving it. I'm obsessed with it. So there really wasn't anything on there that I was very excited about. Um, you know, the the essential balm, the blush. I, I have enough blushes right now. So I, I saw this and even though I already have two, I'm using it and I know I'm gonna go through them because I am using them every day. So I went ahead and get, got this. So these are fantastic. This is again, the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I use this every morning. I tend to not wash my face in the morning because um, I think it just dries out my face. So I use this instead before I go in with my moisturizer and I love it. So so this is fantastic. Um, so again, I, I, it is a duplicate, but it was my choice to get it. And it's something that I'll definitely be using. Okay, so for my third and final choice, my choices were a Ipsy Royal Clutch, the Ahava Derma Mud Intensive Foot Cream, the uh, R and Company Textured Balm, Patrick Ta, Major Glow Softening Lip Mask in Cheese Juicy, the By Terry Hyaluronic um, Loose Powder, and a Complex Culture uh, Oval Brush. And I chose the By Terry Hyaluronic Loose Powder. I have the pressed powder of this. This powder is fantastic. So I actually got two powders in this um, box, but this powder is fantastic. Um, it is 0.35 or 10 grams, 0.35 ounces. I'm not sure how much this runs, but it's not cheap. By Terry is not a cheap brand. And this powder is fantastic. It's great for mature skin. So when I saw it, um, again, I was torn between the lip mask for Patrick Ta. If there had been a different Patrick Ta product, like a blush that I didn't have or something else, I might have chosen that. But with the lip mask, I have a couple lip masks right now. I don't need another one. And again, I, I can't think of, I didn't need a bag. Um, foot cream, yeah, I'm good. Brush, I'm fine. So this was 
this wasn't the, it was just like, okay, this is something I will use. It wasn't something exciting. It wasn't something new, but I knew I would use this. Again, I, I had tried a mini of the, um, a mini of this. I have the pressed powder. It's fantastic. So again, not exciting. I have um, somewhat of a version. I've got two powders now in this box, but it's a really great powder. Okay, so that is everything in my Glam Bag X. So as you can see, it's actually a pretty good box. However, I did get a lot of duplicates. And again, what I'm seeing with Glam Bag X and one of the things that I keep seeing with other people that subscribe is there's all these spoilers and there's these all these spoilers and then it's kind of a bait and switch. Um, that's what happened, I wanna say six months ago when they had the Charlotte Tilbury uh, magic cream and everybody was like oh my god there's the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and then like 20% of people got it and very few people got it and then the people that got it were upset that they got it because then they didn't get an eyeshadow palette and then I you know it was just it there's a lot of bait and switch so there's all this um, like here's the products that we're curating and here's all these this these spoilers and then very few people get those products so that's what I'm disappointed in. And I will I still continue to get it? Probably because I'm a sucker. Um, but, and I and again, these are all products I'm going to use, but it, that's, if you're concerned, and that's, a lot of people were asking me on the short that I posted, do you think it's worth it? And I think it really depends. If you have a lot of makeup, if you have a lot of products, then probably not. Or if it's, for example, if they did a Charlotte Tilbury cur curated box, I probably wouldn't because I have pretty much everything of Charlotte Tilbury. Huda Beauty, I didn't have that much, but then everything I have, I got again. And then the things that were um, kind of teased or spoil, you know, spoil alerts of the items I didn't get. So kind of, this was the, the little magazine that was in the box and there was um, the the, the setting powder, which I did get, the Wishful uh, Yo Glow Facial Enzyme Scrub. That was what I was really hoping I was gonna get, that I didn't get. There was also the Wishful Honey Balm Niacinamide Moisturizer. Would have been happy with that. The Wishful Thirst Trap Juice um, Peptide Serum. Again, that would have been great, but nope, didn't get that. And then the Ka Kaali Vanilla Perfume. That was, that was the spoiler that got me to sign up because I had not signed up for Glam Bag X. I had actually canceled it. And that was a spoiler was like that I want. I had been eyeing that perfume and was really, I, and I, I saw very few people get that. That was something that was not a choice. It was something that was chosen for you. I even went back into my quiz and I put that I wanted perfume and I didn't get it. So other items that they had here was the Sunday Riley Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum. That was something that I was really interested in. I tweaked my survey, my quiz to kind of hopefully get that. Didn't get it. Um, and let's see, the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. That was uh, also one of the items. Again, I didn't get it. Um, I think that was in the choices, but I, it was never a choice for me. So I have a lot of mascara, so that one I wasn't really disappointed, though I have tried that mascara and it is very good. So was I disappointed in the box? A little bit, just because I got a lot of duplicates, but they are items that I love and that I will use. So I definitely got my value out of it. I definitely got way more than $55 worth, and I will. these are all items that I will use. Um, so my advice to you, if you are thinking about signing up for Glam Bag X, is if you see the spoilers, know that you're probably not gonna get those items, or don't sign up for a specific item because those items, it, it keeps to, the items that they promote the most are the items that 15, 20% of the people get. And then that's just a guess on mine, but in, in the Ipsy groups that I belong to, very few people are getting those items. The Charlotte Tilbury Mag, uh, Magic Cream, the Kali uh, Perfume, very few people. And those are the items that they're hyping up the most. So don't sign up thinking that you're gonna get that item because most likely you're probably not. Um, if you like the brand or you like the whoever the curator is, then maybe sign up and just know that it is a subscription box. It's a surprise. You, It's a luck of the draw. It's kind of like 
you know, the lottery. Um, again, I think it was, I got my money's worth. I'm, I'm pleased with what I have, but I was disappointed. Leave it at that. So if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.